All right, before we move on to adventure mode, I want to check this out because the mobile version I play didn't have this. So essentially, this is just you can make your own zombie. I mean, I guess that's actually kind of cool. Uh, hmm. Not much hair you can really give a zombie. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, got full, um, dad hair or, or something. Well, like, no, no, not dad hair, um, bob hair. It's just bob hair. Whoa. Bam. <sighs> um, let's try and make a zombified version of my character. What's the, uh, there's not really any spiky hair, is there? I guess this will work. Just uh, make it brown. Uh, no facial hair. I've got ah nothing on there. Smooth as a, as a as a baby's bottom. Oh, this is making an avatar. Oh, that's kind of sick. Yeah, them them be I I bought. <laughs> this is me in the morning. This is me in the morning when I haven't had, you know, my morning coffee, and I'm like, uh, 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 uh. Ah, I feel so much better now, so refreshed. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I always like these because you can just make your zombie look weird as ever. Uh, all right, it's always funny. I guess nothing there. Ooh, here we go. That's probably the closest we're gonna get, but oh. it won't let me customize the, the the glasses. Like the glass. Um, we'll just say that that when I that if I ever died, the colors would fade or something. That would kind of indicate that the glasses colors are my eyes. But yeah, you never know. Looking like bloody like um. What, what's his name? What, what's 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 the um? A, what's his, what's his name? A, Apple dude, Steve something, Steve Jobs. I don't know. Um. Oh damn! So fashionable. I oh, will just go with this. Accessory. Jesus. Dang, rolling in bling up in here. <laughs> Jesus. Mm. Uh, oh God. It's one of those ear pieces. I hate those. I don't understand these ear piercings. Like, if you do this, and you decide to take the earpiece out, your ear's gonna look so weird. Like, you, like I just don't understand those ones. Like, they just look so dumb to me. Like, no offense to anybody that uses them, like, go for it. I'm not gonna t tell you what you can or cannot do, but at the same time, I'm just not a fan of it. I just find those so, like, I don't know. It's like, they just look so, Yeah, they just look so weird. Like, and they look honestly quite painful if I was to actually have a... Um... Oh, that's kind of cool. But, um, anyway. Uh, wait, does that, does that actually save? Yeah, it did save. I wonder if you can use this as an avatar on Steam. Probably can. But anyway. Yeah, uh, I don't like those earpiece things. They just look painful. For people that do do use them, however, more power to you. Okay. Uh, these ones are so annoying to deal with. The miner zombies or the digger zombies. 
Because they can dig for you all the way until they reach, um, until they, they can dig under all the plants until they reach the end of it, the end of, um, at the very end of the garden. Now they don't try going for your house, instead what they try and do is they can go back the way they came. But that means they ha they get to eat all the plants. And the thing is, none of the plants have any defenses because they only sh they only have one attack, and it's that way. None behind them. What do I take? What do I take? What do I take? What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? Ah, oh, maybe this, just in case of that minor zombie gets too. F um, I don't know. Gets too past defenses or something. I'm gonna try my best to talk as much as possible in this game, in uh, this episode, because I barely talked at all. And again, it was mainly because I was trying to focus, because this is probably the hardest level. Like, like, nighttime pool is probably the hardest one. I genuinely do believe that. It's one of those things. Like, you may think, oh, the last level or world is like super difficult. Nope. You'd think. Ain't the case. Ah, I hoping for big brain moment on placing that that mushroom down here. I was like, yes, I'm about to, I'm to pull what we call a epic. Gamer moment and predict where the zombie is, but I, I was kind of um, kind of wrong on that part. <sighs> part. Right, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this and have a one, a, a row of of um the split the split split P. Oh, wait, what's this? Puzzle mode. Yeah, I've got a lot more puzzles. All right, now we're talking. Now we're cooking. Oh bollocks! Okay, place you there. Yeah, that's a that's a problem with these that these as well is that um that another pain in the ass of these guys is if they get close to the to the, to the um, these guys they duck into the ground and that means if you've got trouble coming in from here um, these guys guys aren't going to do anything because they're too busy hiding in the ground so yeah that's fun to um deal with so much enjoyment. Have at least one row of these guys, and we should be secured. Only any problem I have to deal with is maybe um, um, one of the mushrooms getting eaten or something, but that can easily be uh, fixed. Yeah. 
They're annoying among anything, really. Oh, that was the end. Okay, I thought I would have to go on for a bit more longer. Okay, the stars. The stars are good. Because, yeah, they can shoot in five directions. So they can shoot here, there, there, and there. Maybe one minute. But where's the fifth direction? And it's like, well, they kind of basically just shoot wherever the um, triangles are pointing. So, yeah, there, there, there. Yeah, these things are... These are good. These are honestly good, and I think they're better than these guys because if there is a zombie, this guy, uh, they can shoot in multiple directions and deal the same amount of damage, so. I think they're better than these guys, in all honesty. <sighs> Didn't really have to use this one, but okay. Um. Look at you. Why not? Why not? Huh. Oh, I think the folk's getting closer and closer to the house. I don't remember it being this thick. Damn boy, that's a thick ass boy! I said that completely wrong. That's some thick fog right there with three C's, baby. I would love if there was like a. F I would. I. Oh my god. I just thought of something amazing. I, I just thought of the best and worst thing. What if there was something uh, like. You know how people like to take, you know, things that. Like, uh, uh, like just random things and like objects. And like make like uh, anime characters of them. Like Earth Chan or something. What if we had. Hear me out! Hear me out. What if we had a character called Fog Chan and that character was super thick? <laughs> that, that's got to be out there. That has to be that out there, out there somewhere. Knowing the internet, that has to be a thing. That has to be a thing. There's no way that's not a thing. Oh my god. Oh. That's both the best and worst thing I've ever come up with. I both hate and love myself. Alright. Oh! <laughs> I can't get that out of my head now. Fog Chan! <laughs> Jesus Christ. She's super thick. <laughs> Please! Please, I wanna. I've gotta look that up. I've gotta see if that's a real thing or not. <laughs> if it's not, it shall become a thing. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think the pl the problem with these guys is that they only actually attack when um when there's actually a zombie in their range of attacking. But they are still really good. I still believe that these plants are really good. I still stand by that statement. And I shall forever stand by it. It's honestly probably better to have a, like two rows of these guys because there's just stars flying all over the place. Pretty much set. Yeah, actually, you know what? I think I might do that. I think if I can save up for enough plant, um, sun, I can go ahead and have two rows of these guys. And replace the, the, um, the, these guys with the stars. 
You might think that's stupid, but that actually does uh, work. It's actually quite effective. Be surprised how effective that can be. Because it's going all over the place. And any zombie that wasn't meant to be hit will get hit. So that's the, uh, that's the benefit. Star power, baby. We've got a Super Mario 64 up in here. That would actually be a fun game to play. I have got the collect the Mario Brothers collection, and I th think actually was it uh, May or March? But yeah, I think that actually goes away soon. So yeah, I guess this is a quick remark. Uh, although probably by the time this video does come out. It probably would no longer be available, but yeah, I, I got I make sure they get, get that. I just hate that, like the, like having limited edition like games. Like I can understand like limited edition like collectible stuff. Like I can understand that that kind of thing, but like limited edition games, really? Like that's gonna hint like like one. Not only is it an unhealth healthy for the buyers because they are forced into a very precarious predicament. Like they're like, oh, do I buy it now or do I like buy it later? Because they're like, well, if I don't buy it now and then I want to buy it like after uh, after it's gone, then I can't really buy it. So you see what I mean? You see how bad that is? See how bad that is? How actually bad and hindering it is for people? Like, it's good business because people are going to be wanting to buy all their to buy uh, their games because it's like, oh, it's limited edition. We got to buy it now before it uh, goes. But I don't know. It's just scummy business, honestly. I, I, it's just scummy business, and it'll forever be that. Ooh, a pumpkin. Now this is useful. And the pumpkin's quite useful because, yeah, I don't know why I, I always go like, oh, look, it's this plant. Let me explain it to you when the game's about to explain it to, um, to you like five seconds after. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he's got the bloody earring thing as well. Oh. If <laughs> they've <laughs> they've heard what I've said, they heard my criticizing of the earrings. They've come for me. They've come to seek to seek their revenge. Well then, you want to seek revenge, huh? Want to get back at me, huh? Well, come at me, bitch. I'm waiting. Oh god, I'm not looking forward to the 10th um, level 4-10 uh, because that I think is the hardest, um, possibly the hardest thing in this game. Like, you think it'd be the boss? No. No. The reason why I think uh, level 4-10 is the hardest, like, level in this, in this game is because when it happens... Yeah, essentially, it's there's like a light, uh, a thunderstorm going on, and what happens is every so often, um, like the screen will be completely black. You won't be able to see a single thing, but every so often, for a few seconds, lightning will strike, and will give you a few moments of visualization on what's going on, and you have to quickly react and remember everything on screen. That 
is a pain in the ass. It's just nothing but a pain in the ass to deal with. Yeah. Well, if I just go ahead and save up and just get this, this, um, the stars now. Huh? What do you think of that? What do you say if I did that, huh? Hmm? You say that'd be dumb? Probably would say that would be dumb, but I'm gonna do it. Why? Because I can. Shut up, dogs. Go ahead and bark at like every like thing that passes by. What's that? What's that? What is, it? Is, it? is it? Is it? Is it a person walking by? Uh, how dare you walk by my house? What's that? What's that? Is that? Is, is that a? Is, is, is that a fly? Well, son of a bitch. I am now quite worried now that, um, well, this might actually be the first time I die. And I was kind of hoping to go for a win streak here. Because imagine this I do this Let's Play series and I don't die once. So that way people might think I'm actually impressive and want to continue watching me play. But the moment they see me die, they're like, oh, he's not really that impressive. Nah, we we'll, won't we'll watch him. Or, or, would they, or would people watch much rather watch me fail because that's more funny? It's more, it's more entertaining to watch someone fail than to actually succeed. Sad truth to life. People want to see you fail more than succeed. Christ on a stick. Ah! Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I thought they weren't going to kill it. I mean, I, yeah, I told you they were going to kill it. We kill the pogo stick zombie. I totally wasn't panicking. I was nervous. Weren't scared. Nothing of the sort. Magnets. Ah. Another plant that is quite handy for certain situations, but realistically, you won't really use. All it really does is like takes away, it takes, essentially what it does, it takes away his pogo stick, it takes away his bucket, but then again, I don't really need it that much, because I seem to be doing well as it is, so, it's not really a necessity, you don't, you haven't chosen any plants that fight off, oh, thanks, that's a, that's a, that's a cool thing I want, that I think about this game, is that, they make sure, you, like, if there's a plant that, the, that that's the only way you can defeat a zombie, then they will give you a reminder, like, hey, you want to use that plant because that's the only way you're going to be able to defeat the zombie. That's something good. It's nice about this game. Just thought I'd point that out as I continue to shill even more on why this game is the best. Just... I'm sorry, but it truly is just one of the best video games ever, and I really wish more people would give this a chance. Like, well, I know I, I think people have played it. It's just that nobody talks about it. That's that's, that's just the thing. I, I've said this before, like the first episode, I think, but I generally don't understand why not a lot of people talk about this game. I guess what can you talk about a game that's already perfect as it is? It's like, well, we all know it's good. So it's just, yeah, just let it be good, man. I 
I'm getting more and more nervous because I'm getting closer and closer to the last level of this uh, pool. And um, I'm not looking for what comes after. Shut up. No one loves you. Shut up! You're annoying. Yeah, brains, brains. Jesus, can you say something actually original? Jesus, man. Uh, yeah, we get it. Uh, zombie, yeah. Uh. Right. One of the thing I want to try and save up for um, earlier. Uh, star. get you on here just to hopefully make things a little bit more easier <sighs> hard concentrate hard focus come on man we got this we can do this you just gotta believe in yourself you, just got, you gotta have confidence but not too much confidence there's, there's a balance there's a fine line between in confidence and being cocky you got you all find that balance all right. By this point, they've eaten more. They've eaten more plants than than brains. It's kind of like, well, you clearly ha are a fan of of like of uh, vegetables and fruits and all sorts of other things, but like. Um, so why don't you, um, favor for, um, plants instead of, uh, brains, huh? Oh crap, I just remembered. Balloons. I, j I just remembered that I have to deal with balloons at some point. Hmm, okay. I think it's a good idea if we have row hill star and some cacti. And cacti on this row. There may be another row of star here. I can't see the balloon. I I think there is a balloon, but I can't see. Fuck. Ugh. I hope he peeks out from the fog. Oh oh oh! Fudge me! I see him. Yes, and he drowns in the water because he can't. He ain't got no flotation device. He cannot swim! A zombie has fallen into the lake of Lego City. Psst, sorry, I had to. I kind of had to. I didn't, I mean, I didn't have to, but it was sort of out of obligation. Yeah. I haven't actually used the pumpkin yet. Man. Oh, I just, I just remembered. There is one combo with the pumpkin that's really good, and that's the tall nut combined with the pumpkin. Like, dude, that is so OP. Like, proper, proper gamer, proper, it's proper gamer move, if you know what I mean. You have the wall, have the, have like the tall nut. No, not the wall nut, the tall nut, I mean. And at the same time, have, like, um, and the pumpkin as well, dude. It'll take forever for zombies to get through that. It's just, it's just, it's just the ultimate strat, baby. It's just, it's just, it's just, um, you know, you know what it is. You know what it is. Just play the game and just find out all the strats, the best way to ex exploit a lot of mechanics and sort of, um, you know find a loophole in them that makes things super easy and OP. You know how it is. Y you know how it is. Right. Oh Christ! He hasn't died! Oh wait, what? I placed a um. Oh dear. Oh no, 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 no. I meant to. I didn't mean to place a star there. I wanted to place a cactus. Can 
Alright. Sit back, relax, and pray to God that this actually works. <laughs> ha! Ooh. Money, 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 money. We're going to be able to get enough money to buy that cat, um, cat thing I said. But we're going to be... Um, we're going to be finished bef before we I even get a chance to buy the cat. A little um, cat... Uh, cat plant. <sighs> oh well. It will be useful for them later because you can go for adventure mode a second time because it gets you an achievement but also um, the game is a lot harder though so there's that. Okay. Hello this is your mother please come over to my house for meet love. Leave your front door open and your lawn and guard it sincerely mum. Not the zombies. I totally believe that. Yeah you see what I mean? Well, I'm ready. Why are you getting so dark all of a sudden? That's kind of good. I will help you survive on that. Yep. This is what I was talking about. Oh. I should be having one of those anxiety things hooked up to me. So you so you'll be able to tell, like, like how much my heart is beating. <laughs> And the fact that there's no music, it just what's makes this even more nerve-wracking because it's not upbeat anymore. It's not fun, happy-go-lucky thing anymore. It's just you. Yeah, um, if you mess up once, you're like kind of done for. Uh, give me a plant. Give me a plant. Hey, oh, what's we got here? No, damn it! I placed it too long. Okay, hopefully these plants will. The, uh. Fuck. There we go, that's a strap. I think. I don't know at this point, I'm just praying to God that things actually go well. Things might be going okay, but that can easily change. We got two flags. Oh god. Okay, we got two of these, so we got a safe safe goat. Kind of, okay. Just in case if you don't have any cacti, but I think right, as long as you have one cacti in each row, you're pretty much uh, guaranteed safety. See? Boom. I'm pretty much safe. <sighs> oh, dear God. Hey, it's my zombie! It's my zombie I customised. There he is. Look at him go. He's uh, currently going up in the world. Now he's dead. So essentially, that's me dead. 
Yeah, I just turned into a zombie and I immediately died. Seems pretty accurate. Oh dear god. Well, well. Actually, hold on, watch this. Yeah, these guys take away the pit, their picks, so they can no longer get dig through. Aha! Pumpkins on you. It'll mainly just make things a little bit more easier. Not really changed the game that much. No honesty. You can I get another magnet? And I get another magnet. Just so I can complete this whole row thing. So everything is like sort of like symmetrical. Or Oh crap! I heard that. Okay, never mind. I didn't kill any of my plants somehow. Okay. Weird. Well, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining though, did I? Don't, 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 don't get me mistaken. I'm not complaining. Okay, Christ Almighty. You know, I was, I was worried for like. At the beginning, but now I'm like, what was I worried about again? Like, wait, why was I worried? Jesus Christ, so much action going on, but you're not going to be able to see it. So good! You can even tell where things are placed even though it's pitch dark, pitch pitch black, whatever. There we go, cabbages. Now we move on to level five. But that's for the next episode. And we have how many mini games? No mini games. Oh we unlocked puzzles. I thought we unlocked more mini games, but no we unlocked puzzles, so I'll check that out in the next video, so make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified for that video when it comes out. Leave a like if you enjoyed this series, comment down below, um, I don't know, like comment, 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 comment about your dog or something, like, I don't really know, if you, if you have a dog, or oh, share, share, share this video uh, with your dog if you have one, if not, cat, goldfish, whatever pet you have, and um, yeah. I'll uh, catch you guys all later. Peace out, yo.